fire blast is available, but it's not gonna kill this boy. Sunstrike does hit barely, and then they do get the stun out. They can finish him off before the time walk is off cooldown. Just one more second would have done the trick, but the void goes down before they can actually muster that. And Yabby being stunned for four full seconds. Blizzard, go to the roulette today. Luck is on your side. That was the stun you needed. Otherwise, the skewer would have destroyed you as Peaceang was even coming in. Peaceang wanted to go on X-Files. There's a tether X-Files, though. Should be able to be okay. Should be okay, sorry. The Omni Slash comes out, but did not check for creeps. There's a combo of the Reality Rift plus the Chaos Bolt. The Sun Strike misses, but nobody cares as the Juggernaut goes down regardless. And with that, oh my god. I can't believe they missed the boat. Now the Chaos Bolt, four seconds again. Sun Strike, bye bye, Sheffer. You have like a good six or yeah, you have a good four seconds to destroy him with a lot of hits. Reality Rift is available anyway, and the IO survives because of a missed boat that was just not good. Relocate comes in and Fire he's just trapped between a wall and an ogre and another four second stun. What is this man doing? That time it didn't really matter, but still. Uh, meanwhile they go back to the mid lanes, you get what, 300 damage? That's not bad if you consider that that's just summon units, right? Oh, and they go though with a cold snap. Chrono comes in and Swifty in trouble. I might have to sacrifice himself, but there's no relocate available. Never mind, there was a relocate available. Okay, so that was lower cool than I thought. Saves the invoker. Oh, or not. Oh, never mind. The X marks the spot. The X marks the spot. And now the torrent. And the Iowa comes back with a lot of spirits, but what can he do? He's going to go down. Wow, good relocate, but the X marks the spot brings him back and they kill him off. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Sorry about that. Take the advantage of that original stun strike down to Yabby. Yabby's a skip skip. Yep. Whew. Smart to fight, so smart job by RRQ. And, oh, what? That tower. Was that tower hit? <laughs> Falling into the whole game. There's the boat, reality rift, and this couple could be going down, but they don't catch him. I'm not sure about what happened. Oh, he had the Xbox spot. Okay, that's fine. Reality Rift will catch it. Doesn't really matter as they take down the tower down bottom. Basically. Wrong time. This is the wrong neighborhood, buddy. As the torrent comes in, they can easily start out at 3P. That sounds like it misses, but who cares? Too much damage on Blizzard. They get a kill on a support for a smoke. Not the best, but honestly, going for the smoke without vision and hoping to get a kill, that's the best thing you can really muster. So well, us to defend the towers, ensure no tier 2s fall down, that's a big deal because the tier 2s would give a lot of gold to the enemy team to recover. Now finding RQ, there's a stun available, also winning Knight, Solding up here, stopped for a couple seconds, Swifty with a cold snap, now the reality with and nothing the void can do, can't even chrono them, even though they were all together, and he has to go down there as Beyond definitely wanted them into. Okay, you really need to use the Phantom. You can't let the Juggernaut take a tower against you, a Chaos Knight. It's not a pride thing, it's really like they could defend this easily. But they're choosing not to because the lack of phantasm and the double in power helps take this easily. And then they go on the shadow team and they do kill him off. The relocate comes in, but they go actually down bottom. And not gonna quite see Varish. The reality rift doesn't actually cancel any TPs, so not the best of choices. It should have gone for the Chaos Bolt instead. A bit too cocky in terms of their damage. They do take tier 2 for tier 2, but the enemy team starts to push the tier 3. Now, RP comes in. Bato Psycho Blade Destroy. Glimmer Kip isn't coming on time. And the Ogre Magic can't save his teammate, but the IO comes in very aggressively. At least the TP, but without, you know, much ease, really. Look at that. Oh, yeah. comes in. Onto X Files. The Shockwave is also available. Time dilation. And the little ball of light will go down unless the Glimmer Kick comes in in time. The RP saving Blizzard, but not quite catching the IO. X Files can still that to the Shockwave. They are going to finish him off, but Blizzard wants the revenge onto avenge his dead teammate. Now Yali being caught out. Where's the Chaos Bolt? Not in time. Oh, the Chugger. I'll try to see if they can kill. A vacuum is available. Reality has to bring him back. And the vacuum was wall replica. Now Blizzard has to fight against the Juggernaut alone. Can he do it? Sunstrike coming in. Misses completely. They can't stun him out yet. There it is. Thus. Never mind, the reality of all the youth. Now they're gonna go in, Chrono, they're gonna stop it. They try to kill off Sonic of Vera in time. The Chrono didn't quite come out, but the RP will, the boat as well, hitting Blizzard for the vacuum ball, a replica, chaining this around, and the, oh no, the Dark been left alone. Thanks to the IO saving the Chaos Knight, fantastic job, but Bato Sai has to make it out alone. He might just die here, they did kill off the Void, but he has to make it out alive, and the Xbox spot will make it very hard for him to do so, Glimmer Cave. Try to save him, not in time, in comes the Chaos Knight, kills Sheffer with the back from the Relocate, they do kill on the Kunkka, the Sunstrike doesn't quite hit anything, sorry, it kills the Shadow Demon, and now they're gonna go on to Pisang, last hero in this team, together with a man. Meanwhile, well, 
sure what you're already with. The illusion is gonna come out though against him, and the Sunstrike not doesn't really need it. Okay, it just barely gets it. That's good enough. Oh, beautiful RP. Plus the skewer brings them back in, and the IO plus Chaos Knight combo will go down as the. Okay, that was a necessary combo. That's a hugely unnecessary combo. Cool. They kill, still kill. And no chance. Yeah. TP. Who gives a shit? <laughs> He's gonna make it out alive. Swifty, meanwhile, turned into a bit of split pushing. Smart choice. Yeah, uh, split pushing against the Kunkka themselves. And since he can only support Narsh, he's gonna make vacuum onto the high ground. It's only a void, so the void doesn't really care. He's back into the high ground. However, Invoker's still here. Invoker can deal a lot of damage. Don't leave Patasai alone as the Juggernaut actually finishes off Patasai. And that was an insane waste of resources for absolute no point. Letting the Darkseer die? Okay, and Swifty couldn't help out with a tornado or anything that sort of disengagement, an EMP at least. They do gain a bit of time, Blizzard's trying to push out this tower, and I don't know how they all have micro protection in it. Micro protection works. I guess there's some people in the mid lane that work. In the mid lane now, Blizzard though, being caught out, the Io has relocated back alone, and that left the Chaos Knight to die. Unfortunate. They forced the Io to break the tether or something of the sort, and then when the Io broke the tether, the Chaos Knight. This could be it as RRQ really want to take these racks, and there's not much that Beyond Infinity can do right now, except for defend this with a vacuum wall or Rebel Gun, which is exactly what they were trying to do. But Omni Slash comes in, it was baited, and the Omni Slash doesn't, isn't effective enough to actually finish off this Darks here. They don't TP in the end, they were thinking about it, but they don't TP as they bring him back into the wall replica, but the Chrono comes in, and Peace Tank still at the ages, and hit Blizzard's right at the edge of the Chrono, it's a perfect Chrono! The RP comes in, and Blizzard's about to go down, Armor toggling for victory, but Batasai also goes down, both Blizzard and Batasai are down now, and oh, offlane boy, oh sorry, the offlane and the carry. Bring that Blizzard, now nah, going out to him, easy target actually, Amisash not available, but it doesn't really matter, the MP will come out, and they're trying to stop Peace Tank, there's the Amisash finally coming out, kills off Blizzard, but the Ghost at the will save off the Ogre Magi, and now uh, the Void will backtrack all the damage. The Chrono finally available, hit Swifty, but the Relocate will save his life. And right now, Rower Q are using other ultimates, but can't quite find the kills necessary. Those four spirits being very uh, annoying. And p decides to take this Rax now. He needs the help from his team. The Isle from behind, Relocate. They managed to kill the little ball of light, pop it. And pop it, pop it. And Swifty. There's a blink dagger and a Scotty. Here comes no chance. Let's kill off the Kunkka and the Magnus. No, sorry. Let's kill off the Magnus. Sorry. Because they resigned himself to death as well. Should have used the X marks the spot. X marks the spot combo before. Now maybe it's not the smartest choice. They do find the Shadow Demon in the jungle or in the in the trees, and he couldn't quite stay in the trees. We'll stay in the as best he can. Try to gain some time. But we'll eventually go down regardless. <laughs> This could be really big, and both comes in, he's ready. On the high ground, utilizing this. And Varys will see the Swifty from behind, he's scared! He doesn't realize that everyone is there, but the Chrono will come out, and the Omnisash will as well. Swifty will go down first, at the expense of a Shadow Demon. That was definitely not worth it, there's no chance of trouble. Losing all his mana here, as the Diffuser from the Faces Void is finally in. p Sang is gonna fight against Chaos Knight alone. The relocate to save him again. But the has gone in a bit too far, and this little gank from behind cost him three heroes, possibly four, as the relocate from the Isle will come back soon enough. Oh, never mind. That was a relocate to come in. Sorry, never mind. That was a good save. Then. Still, though, they're gonna go for the throne. They know the enemy team has no buybacks, or if anything, they're gonna at least force them out. Well, the Shadow Demon harasses these two, so they can't quite come back in. He has a disruption available, and they split in. Rar Q will take this game if beyond infinity. There's nothing that Chaos Knight and Io can do. The GG comes out, and beyond infinity.